A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bug nice coming at you with another daily update. So today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. We are under 48 hours away from one of many hurdles here, a make a break moment for the HasLab campaign that is currently before us. Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider and his Hell Charger. So they've got a little early bird special going on where if the project is backed at the minimum of nine thousand backers by the 23rd at 11 59 p.m eastern standard time then all backers will receive the powered down human form version of robbie reyes now it's brought to my attention that if we don't get the powered down human form of robbie reyes it kind of makes it where there's no point in having the street form of the vehicle at least for that particular character i know a lot of people want the car just to kind of use it as a car to use it as a regular charger but as it relates to this particular character it would be really whack to not have the powered down version for when he and the car are in their powered down modes now you guys know that i've been hoping that we will actually get robbie his little brother as one of the stretch goals and that you can put him in the car it's looking like that may not be the case but that doesn't mean somewhere down the line we won't get him and have the opportunity or have somebody customize him or whatever the case may be but personally i do want the option to have the power down robbie the thing is even with the reveal of mephisto which is another hurdle because we got to get to 12k to get mephisto the needle hasn't moved that much since yesterday as of the time that i record this right now we at about 4,760 backers, which is beyond the midway point. So that's good, at least for the total minimum goal. But will we get another 4,300 backers in less than 48 hours? I do think we will see a significant boost on the last day leading up to that 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time cutoff point. But I'm a little worried about hitting this minimum goal. Few things to note that others have noted that I'm fully aware of. I've seen people talk about the fact that the arms and legs on the powered up version of Robbie Reyes are the arms and legs that are going to be on the upcoming long shot figure. And I'm like... Okay, <laughs> would I have liked a brand new body mold with butterfly joints and everything? Absolutely, of course. But as it stands, the long shot figure is new too, and it hasn't even come out yet. So I mean, it's the first reuse of that if it is a reuse, right? The other thing, as you guys know, I always say heads, hands make the figure. Now, of course, they're going to give us hands where his hands can grip the steering wheel, but they should have included another set of just fists, open hands, whatever we can get, because these gloves hands are unique to this particular character design so when we see a character like maggot for instance i talked about this when i talked about maggot his hands are blue and gloved there's not many other, there are no other blue gloved hands that we can use to swap onto this guy. So the fact that he didn't come with any originally is whack. Same thing with Ned here from the Peter Parker and Ned two pack, which I really love. I'll get into that later, but no extra hands for Ned is a bummer. So the same goes for Ghost Rider here. You gotta include additional hands. So I hope Mephisto has an additional head and hands. I will say that the additional figures that came with the Sentinel the sentinel prime figures those did have additional hands i do believe we'll have additional hands on the figures that come with galactus so hopefully that'll all get worked out and real quick the other thing i forgot to mention yesterday when i showed this image this is an image i've been working off of for quite a while my little marvel legends bingo board here so hopefully we will be able to officially scratch mephisto off the list if we could get to 12k and with that said i'm gonna just leave you with this don't let youtubers or influencers out there influence you in a way that's negative don't let these fools negatively charge you put a battery in your back and send you on a crash dummy mission have you upset with other youtubers because they may love something and you only like it once you start attacking other collectors based on some talking head on youtube weaponizing you you are a drone as i previously stated when you come here to my channel it's good vibes only i want you to feel good about the hobby about collecting and display it. The price increases, of course, they're terrible. Nobody likes them. It really does suck that some people are being priced out of the hobby, but the issues with pricing lie with Hasbro execs at the corporate level. Whether or not this is an issue or an instance of corporate greed, 
If that's fully the issue, that remains to be determined, and we should definitely explore that further. But there's no reason I direct any ire at Dan, Dwight, Ryan, as they are just workers selling a product that they have no hand in setting a price for. Now, I've been having some real intriguing conversations behind the scenes in regards to Hasbro's hustle, and I'd like us to dive deeper into that on the podcast in the coming weeks. At some point in the very near future, we're going to do that with real data points, real information. Hasbro is a publicly traded company. It's surely possible for any average Joe to look up sales metrics, stock prices. In fact, I believe the stock price as of yesterday was like $75 per share, and it's probably the shareholders who's really chasing these profit margins after experiencing record profits over the past couple years. But again, that's a discussion for another day. I'm really more focused on the folks finding joy and bringing misery. And as they say, misery loves company. At the end of the day, you're free to do with your money whatever you wish. I threw down the back the project. I made this clear. I'm doing my part to help unlock the tears so we can see the full project. I'm a little bummed out that more people don't see it that way and that because of that, we may not get the power down, Robbie. But I also understand the message that it'll send collectively if collectors reject this. Maybe it's necessary. I'm not 100% showing that yet. Bottom line is though, we shouldn't be fighting each other And if you're getting so angry as an adult collector based on disagreements over toys that you resort to this type of behavior and rhetoric, you are in fact a child and it's time for a time out. There are people with a platform actively using their platform to set you up for confrontations that they surely won't be there for. Be wary, be careful, be better. Much love. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time. Peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got the play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week, I never sleep I'm on my grizzly bear, 52 weeks out the year 